the presence of Neanderthal DNA in humans means that at some stage, humans and Neanderthals must have had sex with one another. It's an amazing discovery. And what's remarkable about Eddie is that he's got more Neanderthal in him than most. Remember when I told you I'd found some extraordinary DNA in your genome? Oh, right, yeah. This is extraordinary time. Well, now I'm going to tell you where it came from. Okay. You are 2.8% Neanderthal. Whoa! Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Because I'm sure a lot of people said, you know, people didn't want to be linked to, oh, we're not linked to people here, we're not linked to this, we're not linked to chimpanzees. Neanderthals, for God's sake. So, 3% uh, Neanderthal, 97% Homo sapien. Is that what I am? It's quite a lot. I'm only 2.5% of my genome is Neanderthal, so you've got more than me. <laughs> and that extra half percent makes a difference? What, what does that mean I can do? Am I good at bridge? Well, if we took 100 people, you'd be in the top 20. You'd be 17th. So I'm quite far out than Neanderthal is. Which, uh, I suppose, if you get into 20, 30, 40%, then you're getting the eyebrow ridge and less good at conversation. There are people out there who are about 5% of their genome comes from Neanderthals. It's only a, a, a part of it, but it's a significant part. Cool. My standard assumption was that Neanderthals weren't the brightest guys in the pack. What's, it, what's the th sayings we have? A few sandwiches short of a picnic. <laughs> To find out more about our Neanderthal cousins, Eddie has come to the cave of Kabara on Israel's Mediterranean coast with the anatomist Professor Yoel Rack. And this is the cave. It looks gorgeous. My old love. As it has bats, this is where Batman would come. We were fortunate enough at 83 to find the Neanderthal right there. Eight meters below the zero. Wow. The caves were uh, a desirable place to live. The, this Neanderthal is actually the most subtle Neanderthal ever found. Oh, really? Yeah. What time would that represent? 55,000 years ago. 55,000 years ago. Wow. All humans today who descend from the small group who first left Africa have Neanderthal DNA. It has led some scientists to conclude that our Neanderthal sexual adventure began somewhere close to Kapara. This would have been where we first encountered them, on our journey north from Arabia, before we spread out across the rest of the world. This is a classical Neanderthal. They are our closest relatives. Can I hold it? Sure. And he's got this big eyebrow ridge there. That's right. Why is it so strong? That, that's part of the, the so-called primitive features. Right. They are actually carrying it from very ancient times. The skull is much uh, lower. The brain is actually set back in relationship to the face. Distinct anatomy goes also to the pelvis, to the foot, to the chest. Mm -hmm. The nose is huge in, in uh, diameter and in volume. Uh -huh. Okay, they, they are completely different. Right. Completely different. Anatomy wasn't the only difference that separated us from our Neanderthal cousins. Neanderthals had evolved in Europe, humans in Africa. What would skin color be like? Well, there is really very little doubt that Homo sapiens coming from uh, Africa, they were black. There is today with the genetic evidence, there is very little uh, doubt that the Neanderthals were fair. So Neanderthals were white and the Homo sapiens were black. Yeah. Back in the day. Yeah. Interesting. And that's really that's to do with sun, because uh, everyone gets so you know. Oh, sorry, sorry, man. Uh, how many wars have been fought over the colours of skin and all this hatred going on? But it really is just to do with where you are, the sun, and the body will automatically adjust as tribes and everyone were moving further north where there was less sunlight that's right then they would actually start shedding pigment it's a matter of being adjusted i mean neanderthals are fantastically adjusted to cold weather we can tell that they had a ginger hair oh so the neanderthals had ginger yeah. hair and the homo sapiens not so much no, not, not at all not at that time so there you go your neanderthal and your ginger hair i i have a red hair base 